Excellent. David, congratulations on the film. Um, I first saw it in Cannes and uh, it got a rapturous uh, reception over there, which is great to see. And it's probably one of my favourite films from out there. Um, how did it come your way in, in the first instance? I read, just read the script. Uh, you know, Taylor, I think, wrote it pretty much as, as a spec script, so it, it, it didn't go through a sort of development process. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just really liked it. I thought it had a, had had all the flavours that I'm I'm sort of interested in. You, you know, it, it, there's a bit, bit of genre, but there's also kind of a, some deep humanity. There's a strong sense of place. Uh, the, you know, a, 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 a sort of it feels like it's about something. It's got, you know the sort of the a lot of the kind of fault lines of modern America are kind of there, and, and uh, yeah, it just felt very attractive to me. Excellent. I think one of the first films I saw yours was Young Adam right. uh, quite a while ago. Yeah. Um, your films can't really be any different from one another, really. Um, they do share common themes and genres, as you said. I mean, this is part heist film, part western, part road movie, part social drama. Is that what gets you excited? I mean, you briefly mentioned I'm that. I'm kind there. of looking for original material, really, and, and yeah. something that just that, that's different. I don't like the idea of making the same film twice, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, it, it, it's uh, yeah, it's, if if something kind of feels like it's special, then that's what I'm, I'm interested in, and and, and I, I I like the idea that that. If it's a world that I don't know, that I, I have to kind of get to know that world, and, and and it's an opportunity to kind of to to experience different things. So it, it's cool. Definitely. And had you seen Sicario before this Sicario film? Sicario wasn't wasn't out really, you know. Right. So and and I, and, and uh, Sicario came out when we were in the middle of post, but I, I deliberately didn't watch it until <laughs> after I'd finished. No, definitely. I've just uh, seen um, some of his work on uh, Sons of Anarchy, which is obviously an actor in it, mm -hmm. which is you, you can draw parallels between the two, I suppose, a little bit in terms of the Western feel and, and, and that. Um, but how does that, a sort of an actor's imprint on a script uh, differ to say? I don't really know how, how it does. I mean, uh, Taylor's, Taylor's got a, you know, a strong sense of Texas because his family are from there and he's from there. And, uh, you know, that I sort of tapped into that. Um, you know, Taylor is briefly in, in the film as a, um, uh, the cowboy and uh, you know, running from the bushfire. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, I, I don't know exactly. I just think that. that he, he decided to become a writer, and he's a very good writer, so it's great, you know. Yeah, he's a great writer, and there's a great cast as well. I mean, I'm just looking at the poster there, Jeff Bridges, Chris Pine, and Ben Foster. Who came on board first? Uh, I, don't know. I mean, it's a, it, 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 they all came together very quickly, you know. Yeah. It's a, it's, they, they all sort of coagulated, you yeah, know. Sure. Didn't have, I had a very short po uh, prep period, and it just sort of all came together. Yeah, sure. And Chris obviously didn't just Star Trek at the same time, is that right? I had to shoot Chris out in two and a half weeks, so, so he was so he just go off to do Star Trek, which which actually, I mean, it was an anxiety because there was a lot to do in that time. But I think we, I think we, the, it, it kind of helped the energy, and we shot their section their their bit sequentially uh, as well. So it kind of it had a real real energy to it, and um, uh, I really liked that the fact that, that I was allowed to. Um, just concentrate on two, one set of characters and then and then afterwards on the other set of characters. So so it, it, it's almost like two different films. Yeah, know? definitely. And so it was just two and a half weeks totally for Chris Pine. That's what you had. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. What's it like on a, a David McKenzie set? I heard you don't have monitors or anything like that. You just yeah, kind I of try and be a bit. I mean, Chris was always was sort of joking. It's a bit jazz, you know. But uh, but it, it kind of is a bit jazz, you know. I, it, it's a bit more bit more free form than than, than a lot of films are. And uh, I just try to keep the energy up and I try and get. Get a sort of sense of authenticity and a sense of, of freedom for 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 the, for the cast, and um, uh, it's sort of, it, I feel like I'm kind of evolving a method that that I'm, I'm that can now kind of use for, for 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 all films, and it'd be interesting to see what happens doing that on a kind of bigger scale, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, it it, it 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 you get a much more alive sense of uh, of performance and 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 energy in that kind of way, and. Uh, yeah, I don't have script supervisor. I don't have monitors. I, I edit on or pretty much on set, um, right. and, and uh, we don't have clapper boards. And um, you know, it, 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 everything's just kind of fizzing a bit, and, that, and that's the way I like it. And it, you know, we're sort of fast and loose with the material. We improvise a lot. We you know, we, we play around with it, and uh, awesome. uh, it's fun. It sounds amazing, and it looked look like most of it was actually shot on location as well. Yeah, it's all, all location. Yeah, really fantastic. Yeah, there's no, there's no, um, uh, no builds or anything. And that must have been very different from Startup, which maybe was more. Startup was entirely on location. Well. Wow. Okay, that's fantastic. All shot in, in Crumlin Road Jail, and uh, and one scene in, in the uh, final scene in the Maze Prison. But uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm not really interested in building. I'm much rather use real locations. Uh, I think it, I think it just helps, and uh, it helps everyone kind of. Everyone goes to work, and they can feel the reality of what they're trying to represent, rather than 
the fakery of what they were what, what, yeah. what they're representing. And, and 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 as a filmmaker, I'm sort of trying to be a realist, but to, to be a realist on a on a on a on a scale. So, so I mean, uh, it's a sort of bit of a glib thing to say, but kind of epic realism. You know, uh, it, 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 it's what I'm kind of I'm interested in. And how is it shooting stateside? Obviously, a bit different. Beautiful to, light. I mean, I just yeah. the light and the space. And you know, Giles and I, you know, uh, Giles, my DP, you're just uh, you're always impressed by how kind of uncluttered the frames are in that spacious mm. thing. And it, it, you know, it, it, was, it was lovely. I, I really, you know, celebrated the, the 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 difference. You know, it was beautiful. Fantastic. And it's, um, I guess. You draw influences from various different things for various different films. You do do you go to certain places when you prepare, in terms of influences and that sort of thing. Or now, there were loads of influences on this film, but ma mainly films that I'd seen in the past and really liked. You know, I, I, I wasn't kind of wa I don't I tend not to watch films when I'm making them. No. Um, the, actually, the only film I did watch which I really had never seen before was HUD, um, and and that my production designer gave me and and and, I, and that was kind of it was that was really nice to see that. So you know. Um, uh, but yeah, there were lots of other influences from, from from a lot of them from Jess past, you know, from, you know like um, Last Picture Show and uh, and Thunderbolt and Lightfoot and Fat City. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of nice to, you know, that the the film takes place in Archer City or the first robbery takes place in Archer City. Yeah. Uh, and and that's obviously where um, Last Picture Show was uh, yeah. set. So it was kind of nice to kind of have that kind of arc for Jess' early career and, yeah. and, and, and his career now. Full circle, yeah, fantastic. And uh, I guess uh, the inevitable question: You're obviously moving on to something new now. So you're going to go back to your own writing, and or are you looking? I do. I, I'm, I have been writing something, and uh, I, uh, I'm looking at script to, to read. I don't know what I'm doing next. I mean, I do. I, I'm doing a, a U.S. pilot. Okay. Uh, in which is set in the Great Depression, um, which could be really interesting, called Damnation. Um, so, but that's a kind of short job that I'm doing over yeah. the next two months. Uh, but I'm not sure what the next film project is. Oh, great. Well, this one is fantastic. I loved Thank it. Thank you. I loved watching it Karen, in that audience. It was just fantastic. Great. So. Well, it was, it, it's Karen scary because it... Cause it if, if they don't like a film, they let, they let you know. You know. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's my first time there, and right, okay. uh, this one wasn't. They, they, okay. Absolutely, quite the opposite. <laughs> but no, it's fantastic. Good luck with it. It's, it's a brilliant. Thank piece. you. Thank Cheers. You. Cheers. Thank you.